Hi, everybody. I'm Jay here for my paper journey. Hi. I'm back again. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Lena. Hi, Mama. Celine and Jenny. Hi, girls. Um, Like I said last time when I did my video on my update for my 300 subbies giveaway that I was um, playing around, not nothing really big, but the idea came to mind um, with some of these uh, uh, tabs that I have. Um, to make tabs, to make little envelope tabs for the page. And let me show you. Like, for example, I made this envelope. It's an envelope here. It's also an um, envelope in the back. And it opens up like this. So, like, for example, this is the page. And then here's your envelope tab. And then you can put something in there. Now, this is because that was just a scrap piece of paper, so I really wasn't measuring or anything. This is just like a, um, just a tad over two inches in width. And the height is like a uh, inch and three quarters. And the flap for the envelope is about half an inch, a little bit over half an inch for the, for the flap. So I just wanted to show you how I did it. It's really simple. And here's, um, Another one that I did. Now this one's smaller. I think this this is better, uh, a better size. Um, this is one and three quarters uh, width, and and the height is an inch and a quarter. <clears throat> and because I have so many uh, scraps, so see here's a little envelope. And let me see if I have anything we can put inside. Here, let's try this. Oh, here's a little mini tag. You know how I am with m miniature thingies. Look, you can put a little a ta uh, tag in there, like so, and then you can put another uh, different tag here. Of course, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. These are a little bit small because these are, I'm using those like for embellishment. And then, um, then you would just glue it on the edge of your paper like so and there's your tab envelope isn't that cute I just thought it was really cute I know because I, I was playing around with this is just a scrap piece of paper I made an envelope like that and I thought oh be cute to put it uh, on the side as a tab envelope however I go but then you know on the back it's just going to be sticking out and I said well maybe I can figure out how to make an envelope on both sides so that's what I did so let me show you really quick, like, um, what I did to make that, and then I'll show you um, this that I was working on. I was just made out of scrap and then scrap here with paper and um, a scrap of lace and scrap of um, fabric that I have so much left over from uh, sewing uh, uh, my mask that I've been giving away to friends and families. Um, so, okay, you get a, any size of paper. And then this, for measurement purposes, you want to know, just a tad over an inch and a half, almost like uh, uh, this one. It's about the same uh, width, except this was just made out of a, a paper book pages, and this this is a digital printout paper. And all, and then this is just a scrap of pizza. This is the first one that I made, really, really tiny. I didn't I didn't sew the center, I glued it on. So you don't have to sew it. Um these I did sew and then I sewed a uh, here across. But you don't need to sew because I didn't sew this one. Okay? So for those that don't like to sew or don't have a sewing machine, uh you don't have to feel like you have to sew it, but you, you don't. Okay, so you get a scrap piece of paper. And if you want to know the length, because I don't know the length, uh, it's just a scrap. Uh, this is five inches. And I'm just going to, you know, eyeball it. I'm not measuring or anything like that. So let me see. I want this to be my envelope right here. Okay, so this part here would be this first fold right here, okay? And then I'm going to fold it. Like so. 
So now I already have the measurement of the first envelope so that they match. So then I open this back up and then grab my scissors and trim it there. So now I have my guide to do the other side of the envelope. Of course, I'm doing this kind of fast. I'm not taking my time. Okay, so this is what you should have, a, like a W. Okay? And this part is what's going to be attached to um, to your page. Okay? Now, to do the flap for the envelope, so then this leftover piece, if it's big enough, sometimes it isn't, but just for demonstration purposes, let's say that it does. So then you fold that in half. Either you glue it or you sew it. And then you have, you know what, let me um, distress it so it'll show up better because, I don't know, on my monitor, it just... Um, the monitor of this tablet I'm not too crazy about and I really can't see the colors are even coming through like they're supposed to. And I'm highlighting, you don't have to distress it either. I'm just doing this for um, so it'll stand out better for you to, to see what I'm talking about for those that still hasn't uh, grasped what I'm doing because I'm not always that very clear um, when I'm explaining things. Okay, so I, I'm not going to sew. I'm just going to put a thin, um, I'm going to glue this on, but I hope I can get some glue. There we go. So this is what I did on the first one. I just put a thin bead across the fold of glue. And you can use any glue you want, whatever's your favorite. I just happen to have the um, glitter glue and I like cause, you know, the, the, the tip. Um, so there you have it. And then you can just decorate and embellish it. Let's, em let's put this here as an embellishment, just for demonstration purposes. Um, I really didn't have anything planned out. But I'm oh, sorry if I get, I'm getting out of frame. It's just the angle that I'm, it's kind of hard to work around the tripod here with a tablet. And I have another one over here. Yes, I do. Yeah, which was the top. Okay, here we go. There we go. And then you glue. Now, if you wanted to sew, um, you would sew You would go in your sewing machine, you go to your sewing machine, and then you would sew here and here. You go all the way around, and then you you sew here and on the sides. Or you can go right across. I think I did, on some of these, I did go across. Okay, but you don't have to. And then you go in your sewing machine, and then you sew um, right here in the, in the, uh, on the top, right on the, on the, on the fold of the envelope flap and there you have it so there's just a little envelope here put a little uh, little tag in there get your um, journal page glue it on and there's your tab isn't that cute and simple and then you have envelope on both sides of course I didn't glue uh, this side, but I'll glue it. So I thought it was a really cute idea. I don't know if anybody has come up with it or not. 
Okay? If you have, let me know. Or if you've seen other people do this, you know, let me know. But I know I've seen people do envelopes, just a single envelope, but not um, a double envelope where you have envelope on both sides. So, and then you sew, and then there's your tab. So you have an um, envelope on the back, and then you have an envelope on the back. So when you turn your page... And you have a tab on this side and a little envelope to look at instead of just versus this. See what I mean? So, yeah. I thought it was really cute. And you know me, I like miniature stuff and, and stuff like that. And then um, my aunt, I don't know what happened to the original, but my aunt um, gave me a few of these paper... Um, Thread, paper thread bobbins, and I just drew a circle. I haven't punched a hole in it. So I went ahead and I traced them, and these are the ones that I traced, and then I cut them out. And um, I put some lace on this one and some uh, ribbon trim here. This is the one that Linda S. gave me. And then I put some uh, thread around this one, which is... it's. Um, I think this thread is for tatting because this is not, it's very, very thin. So it's not for crocheting. It looks like a miniature crochet ball, but it's a very thin thread. You can even embroider with this one, I'm sure, or even sew because it's nice and sturdy. But um, it's for tatting because the tatting thread is very, um, very thin. So this, I thought it was really cute also to serve as a tab on a page. You no, know, like that. I know uh, on the back, if you wanted to, you can so, um, glue on to them. So then you have one in the front and then one in the back. And then, you know, um, I made them with a, a lightweight cardstock because you don't want um, embellishments to be really, really bulky because then they just make, uh, make your... Um, journal pages or your whole journal, um, you know, really chunky, though I do enjoy chunky um, journals. Okay, the other thing that I was working on, like I said, um, these are just scrap. Um, I did use, um, this wasn't a scrap, I did use a couple of the pages, the music pages that um, that uh, Linda gifted me. I'm going to move this off. Just a little tap. That gifted me, and then some were others were just other scrap uh, like this so scrap paper, uh, um, vintage um, book pages. But what I did, I just layered um, scraps of fabric because um, you know pieces of scrap of fabric that I have that I got left over. Uh, from my previous uh, sewing, my mask and all that. Now this is not a scrap. This is like part of a quilt square. Um, I don't even know how I got my hands on this, but it appeared in my in my stash of fabrics and stuff. And see, here's if you've seen my mask and my my um, shabby chic mask that I made for myself. This is a piece of fabric that I got left, and that's about it. That's the biggest piece I have. Isn't that beautiful fabric? I think it's so pretty. So that's a, a piece that I use here. So I, and this was just a scrap, and I just layered them, and I put a little bit of um, lace, a trim here, and I just, and I did use a glue stick to uh, tack it down, and then after it dried, then I just went, I used my sewing machine, and I just try to. So the uh, you know the some of the edges and then I zigzag somewhere just to give it a little bit of a a, a texture instead of just straight sewing, just to um, sew around and get a, a, a you know tack down with the sewing machine um, a little bit of each of the fabrics that I lay down and then this one. Now these are not decorated. Some of these are not. I just because. Um, I don't know what I'll use them for. Oh, here's some of that washi tape <laughs> that, uh, that Linda had in that package. I need to glue this on because it's coming undone. Um, 
And here's another one. And here's some, this is a neutral color. And then this is some of the fabric that I had left over from that, um, that last journal that I did. This is a piece of the fabric, so I just cut a piece on there. And then the fabric below is this right here. This was like a, a napkin that I found at a thrift store. And I used some of it for making the mask because I was making masks with like three different fabric patterns just to uh, coordinate it and then make it look different. Um, and then and this is a... Uh, uh, this here, I love this fabric. It's this fabric here that has like newspaper printing on. So, um, just, this is just scraps that I have. So I just cut little pieces and glued it on. And of course, I have, um, a lot of this. This is that, um, kind of a very, very stiff, uh, lace that I just, they're used like, uh, to decorate, you know, for weddings and stuff, not necessarily for sewing or making a dress or anything like that, but it works perfect for crafting. Um, and then here's, and I was just scrap, because, you know, I have my jar scrap of lace, so I got my pieces out of here, and I didn't even make a dent. It's still full to the max. But um, I thought that these are really cute, uh, like on a page. Where's my, the sheet that I was using? <clears throat> um, like, for example, this could be like a tuck spot on a page. You know, you can put something there. Um, uh, where, um... Oh, here you go. Okay, like this is an envelope that I copy dyed. You can also use some of these, um, like for example, to decorate it, and then also serve um, like a way to keep as a closure for your envelope. Also, you can, um, like for example, this one is big enough. Oh, well, the letter is upside down. But see, then it could also become a pocket for you. So, you know, use up your scraps. Um, I, of course, I have a lot of scraps, so I don't think I'm ever going to use all of them. Oh, here, Linda, look, I used some of that trim you gave me, the lay, and then some of that uh, bling bling, the pink bling bling that you gave me. And like these, um, look at how pretty if you decorate them. And then if you put a... Uh, uh, an image and then this one's a little birdie let me see where would it look pretty like on this one like that so it, it's just layering and you just lay it down bef what I do is uh, you've seen me where I just uh, lay the fabric and or pieces of paper and then see if I like it and if I like it, then I'll put some glue in and kind of hold it and tack it. And then, you know, tack it some more once I've laid it down how I want it. And then this one has multiple. And this was just simple. This one is just a piece of that fabric and some of that um, stiff um, um, lace fabric. And then this one, I put a bow there just because it was there. <laughs> On, you know, at site, so I just picked it up and put it there. But yeah, these are simple little things that, um, that you can do. <clears throat> so, I, I was trying to mass produce, but I didn't do a whole, you know, a lot. I was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But you know, I want to do more. And the reason why I didn't put a lot of embellishment, because I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But I just thought I'd give you some ideas, you know, what to do with your scraps. And they don't have to be perfect. See, they're not perfect. The way I cut them. Or you can put a little bow. Oh, this is what, like a butterfly bow or something like that. See, and it looks cute. So that's for that. The the main thing that I wanted to show you was the, the envelope uh, tab because I thought it was so cute. And here I use, again, the 
some of the bling bling that Linda gave me. The pink, the pretty pink pink, uh, pink bling bling. <laughs> I couldn't get the words out. Or, or like um, a small envelope. You know, you can, maybe this is kind of big. But you can decorate the front of the envelope, a small envelope. And then also use it as a tuck spot on the envelope. You know, for your journal. Simple little things like that that adds more character to your pages. Um, and of course, you know, embellish them um, uh, to the style or that that you or the theme of the book that you're creating or whatever your your taste is. You don't have to necessarily use the same things that I used. Or like this one over here. See, it look pretty if we add the word hope to it. Or you know some kind of a um, wording or phrase or something like that. And it just dresses set up some more. And I just think it's really cute. And even on these little um, uh, thread uh, paper bobbins, if you put a little word, you know, hope on it, and then use it um, here as a, a closure tab for your envelope, like so. And you don't, or not an envelope, it doesn't necessarily have to be an envelope. You can leave it like that. And then you open it up and people can, and then you can journal on it and then this holds it for you close. So, you know, little things like that. I just thought I'd share with you. Because sometimes we forget, even though they're very basic, but we forget about those little details. And sometimes we just need to be reminded. Um, you know, the little simple things that we can do. Um, that we can incorporate on our pages that are so simple and yet so effective on your pages. And, and this, um, I guess you can say like a snippet. It's more of a paper snippet. I hope I can get this undone. I guess this was not like the best thing to use to, um, tie this with I'll cut it but see this is um, the paper the wrapping paper packaging paper that you get when you get packages in the mail you know from Amazon or from wherever you order your stuff so I just started ripping some of these were already cut in, in strips so I just started ripping them in you know in pieces and they're not in any um, see they're not in um, even. I just cut them. So what I did, then I started grabbing uh, uh, pieces from my my stash here. And this, um, um, my jar. This is where I keep scraps of um, trims uh, and fabric and um, lace. And um, so I just took pieces out of there, and I just started layering them. And again, what I did, I used um, glue stick. And that was just mainly to tack it down. It wasn't to glue it on permanently. It was just to tack it down. And I just started putting them down. And see, and then some of them I have a um, cheesecloth on it, too. So I guess that I'll need to trim off. Save that little piece. And so, yeah, that's what I just did. They're just scraps. None of these um, were whole pieces. See, this is part of that trim that I had used. <clears throat> and that was a leftover there. And then, so it had a few numbers. So I did these, I did cut in pieces. Some of them they already cut. And then um, this is some of that fabric also, and then this is just a piece of a, a, a string um, yarn, specialty yarn. And then this is not like a little applique. And then here's a little heart that I cut out. I didn't get to use for whatever reason I was doing. I don't remember what. But they're all just scraps. So I just... I just started tacking them. Before you know it, I had, and then here. This is actually where I started. I started with blue, 
And this is the end, like we're the savage of a fabric. Uh, I saved it. I didn't throw it away because I thought it was interesting because it has numbers. So I just put little pieces there. And um, so this part is blue, and um, the rest kind of, you know, the colors I like to use, the neutrals and pinks and greens. Um, and then after uh, it was dried up, actually by the time I got to the very to the very end, um, the top, the, the beginning part was pretty much dried. So I just sew a straight line all the way down through the whole strip, and then I sewed uh, a second line all the way down. And that's pretty much what I did. Um, nothing fancy. So then if I need a piece, let's say I want to decorate, this is an envelope, I want to decorate an envelope, then what I'll do is just trim a piece and attach it to it, and, and then see how pretty it'll look already? And you haven't even really done much to it, and you really don't need to. Um, maybe you might want to add a word to it. You know, really simple like that. Nothing complicated. And, uh, I don't like doing stuff that is so, so complicated. Or you can do um, use some of those ball pins and put some beads um, that happened to be there. So <laughs> that's the only reason why I grabbed it. Um, open it up. And that's what's good about these uh, fabric that, you, you know, in lace and trims, that you're able to attach a, a pin, you know, the ball pins. And see, and that looks like really cute. And like I said, I didn't, the bottom, the base, I didn't use fabric. I know a lot of people use fabric. But I figured, hey, I'm going to be attaching this to paper. It might as well be paper so I don't have to be using, um, like, the fabric tack to make sure that it's going to adhere to paper because it's fabric. Uh, the base is fabric. So I thought, well, I'm just going to sew it on paper and then cut it. And so paper will adhere to paper pretty much with any glue that you use. So that was my um, my thought behind that, uh, you know, using the backing, the paper. And you can use any paper uh, you want. And then here are more some more scraps. These are little pieces that were left that, um, so I just, um, I just ruffled them up, not even, even, and then I just sewed zigzag right in the middle. So, um, and then this is just scrap of that corrugated. So I just uh, sewed right in the middle. And then the same thing, uh, you can get this and decorate this. Um, add a little, a little birdie and see how pretty that looks. And it's so simple. There's, you know, no brainer, not, you know, no, nothing complicated. And so that, so don't throw your scraps. These are just scraps that I had left from the, the project that I was working on. And these were just little scraps that I see here, the way they end, right here. And I just started, um, started another one. Because they're just small pieces. It looks like it's a long piece, but it's not. And here, I wanted something wider. So I use some uh, music note paper. Here, see how it, this is where it breaks off because there were just scraps. Here's where it breaks off. There's just scraps, and then here I didn't have any more. I ran out, so this is has no music on it. And then, and this one here. This one I had the music note, and then this is the uh, packaging paper. And so I didn't have enough here, so it's all by itself. Here's another piece. This is packaging paper, and then a, just a, a piece of um, coffee dye paper, just a strip. So I just sewed it on to that. So don't throw away your scraps. See, here's where it ends. Here's where it ends. They're just scraps. You know, and then here is a scrap right here. Where it, it, this is just a little piece here, and I just kept on sewing it on. I did um, tack it, like I said, with a, 
the glue stick because otherwise it's it's going to be really hard uh, to sew. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, um, then you don't need to sew. Just tack it down with uh, your your glue, glue stick, whatever you want. And if or if you want to, I don't have a sharpie, but you know, with a sharpie, you can do little lines to make it look like they're you know stitching. Or if you have a needle and black thread. This is really thin. You can just go in and out, do a, 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 a you know, just a simple stitch, a running, a running stitch, in and out, in and out on it, uh, or use embroidery thread, you know, um, or waxed uh, linen thread, whatever you want. But that's what I wanted to, to show you. So that way you have, I like to have things like that ready so when I'm ready to embellish something, I have options. And I don't have to say, oh, what am I going to do and stop and make embellishments. So that's part of the reason um, that I like to do that. And I do that while I'm watching TV, YouTube, or whatever. And I started doing this on, cause, and I was no-brainer. I wasn't even thinking of anything. I was just putting it on. Don't even overthink it. Just... Lay it on uh, layers. After you're done, if you want to do some uh, add, add additions and so, you can do so and then sew it back on like for here. For instance, I found this later on, this little blue piece, a scrap of uh, lace. Found it and I go, oh, I'm going to sew it on there. So I did. I sewed it on. That's why you see an extra line there, a stitching, because that was an afterthought. But that's because... I found it afterwards, and I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to use it, so I did. Okay, guys, I think that's it uh, that I wanted to share. Also, um, two weeks ago, my husband and I, we went uh, to thrift stores, and this is what I found. This is pretty much the only thing I found. They're um, stamps. They're the, they call these a curly font or something like that. So that was kind of cute to share with you. I think I only paid like two bucks for it. And that was pretty much all I found. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Um, don't want to take any more of your time because I don't think I have anything else to share. And again, congratulations to all those, the two winners that, uh, that won for my 300 subbies giveaway and helped me for my next giveaway uh, for my 500 subbies. Please, um, Share the video, um, ask your friends, um, come and check me out and subscribe. So give me thumbs up, um, you know, like the video, give me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I really do. And it just keeps me going. It motivates me. And um, so um, for those that have a YouTube, you know how it is. Really, um, it encourages me so I can come back and do other stuff and share with you. Um, I'm going to be working on the, on the, um, one thing I do want to say is, um, I'm just going to revisit some other old stuff that other people have done and I want to do them because I've been wanting to do them. Like I want to do one of those paper bag, um, um, journals. I made, my very first journal I ever made was a little, I used uh, the small paper bag, the, the mask print outside, I think it was, or vintage print on the outside. And I made a really small journal that I gave to my friend, uh, and, but I want to do one that I saw um, um, uh, crafting with me. Uh, she flattened out the the paper bag and, and made it into like a clutch purse uh, with a paper bag. So I want to do that. So I'm going to be uh, doing uh, stuff that other um, other channels have inspired me in, and I'm just you know share it with you guys. So that's it, guys. Okay. I think I already went on forever. Um, thank you, and keep crafting, okay? And for those that already have my email, you know, send me pictures. I'd love to see what you make. And that way, you, I inspire you, and you guys can inspire me, all right? So, yeah, take care, everybody. I love you. Keep crafting, and most important, please stay safe. And may God watch over you wherever you are, and whatever you do, may his hands be upon you, putting a hedge of protection over you, and keeping all of you safe. Okay? Take care. God bless. Love you all. Bye.